I think the amount of knowledge and, and uh, capacity and awareness of climate change has really increased over the past uh, few years. Uh, the second area in which I think advances have been made is actually seeing a lot of actions on the ground that are, that are going beyond even the international negotiation process. I think what, what we hope the contribution here will be is that, that uh, we new ideas about how you can combine action by the public sector and the private sector and how they can better collaborate and how carbon markets that we've known can maybe tr be transformed into to policy instruments also for a future agreement that we hope will be coming next year. You know, that is a really important topic because it has to do with how we in society adapt to climate change. And adapting to climate change is a topic that we're uh, starting to hear more about. It's gotten less attention in the past because really it's about uh, pr protecting coastal areas, it's about the role of forests, it's about uh, even healthy businesses that are prepared to respond to climate change impacts. Good climate change policies, I don't think, will be effective if it is developed top-down by governments. I think governments need to start uh, creating awareness on the ground and get people along with, with, it, with, with them in, in, the, in the policies that they want to develop. A lot of the countries in the region are taking action on developing both this kind of low carbon development plans and also looking at climate impacts at the same time. And in fact, I think many of the countries in the regions are leaders in, in doing this. I don't think we should uh, bet on it. I think we should invest it wisely. And I do think that um, we've learned a lot in the last decade about what makes for a good climate change project. How do you measure its benefits? How do you assess its progress? Um, and I think we ought to build on that, that, that history with the CDM. And we ought to add more oomph behind that type of approach uh, going forward by investing the new monies coming into the Green Climate Fund and many of the same kind of projects with the same methodologies because that's something private sector understands. Well, I think um, the development banks have a, a major role to play in adaptation finance because usually in adaptation you're talk talking about large infrastructure. You're talking about seawalls. You're talking about our bridges uh, built to withstand uh, certain surges and floods and things. Um, and that is the kind of thing that, um, uh, because it's infrastructure finance, development banks have long history of doing that.